Hi broccolis. Today we are going to make cherries. So what you will need is a green marker, a wine cork or a bottle cap, something round, some red paint, a little dish or a plate for your red paint, and a piece of paper. It could be any size. I'm using a little scrap that I have left over, just reusing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my name using my grip. So I'm writing G A B Y. Now don't forget, just because you're working on this at home doesn't mean that we don't need to put our name on our paper. All right, after I'm all done, I'm going to flip my paper over. I am going to use my red paint and my wine cork right now. And because I'm using this little dish here, little set, I'm going to dip my wine cork in here directly. So I'm dipping one side into my red. And it'll look like this. And then I'm going to make a few stamps. So one and I'm gonna dip it again in some red paint. and do the same thing over and over again. So again, the first step is to make stamps with your wine cork. You could also use a bottle cap if you don't have a spare wine cork around the house. And maybe I'll make two sets of cherries here. Okay, and I'm going to make a couple you can make as many as you want. And now I'm making another stamp. And every cherry is a different shape and different size, right? So maybe I'll make a few sets. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll add another one here. Make three stamps. And I'm gonna add a few more. Cherries are my favorite. Has anybody ever gone cherry picking? I've never been. And I would definitely like to go one day. Okay. I think that's enough cherries. So I'm going to set my wine cork aside and I'm going to grab my marker. Now what we know is that cherries have stems and leaves. So I'm going to make a stem here. Maybe I'm going to draw a leaf too. If you'd like to add a leaf, great. If you don't, you don't have to. Remember, this is your project and your vision. And I want to add two stems here. So what I'm doing is I'm just making lines. You could use a crayon to color your leaf in if you'd like to. And again, just going to keep adding stems. If you don't want to add a leaf, you really don't have to. It might just look like this, which is great. All right, so now I have my cherries and they are complete. 
Thanks for doing this project with me, Broccoli's. See you later.